Welcome to part six of walking on the Ryerson Station State Park Warpath. And this cabin reminds me of a history story that I wanted to share with you guys today. When this, when this, uh, what reminded me, I was going back through my videos today and I, I labeled one that I forgot to put a label to. It's called a beaver tail. Go check it out in my videos. It's called a beaver tail. But this one is a history lesson. Like I said, that cabin reminds me of it because it's about the early days of North America, the, the, of the Northeastern American woodlands, which stretches up into Canada. And uh, there, was a, there was a great war that was fought here between all the Indians. It's basically a civil war, it's called the Beaver Wars. It was actually labeled the Beaver Wars. And you can check it out. Uh, it, it was, like I said, if you look it up on the internet, it's very, very interesting war. It's, it was over the beaver pelts because beaver pelts were the most prized uh, possession. So the Indians were constantly out, you know, uh, hunting eat all the different areas for beaver. And uh, it was a... Uh, I mean, it, it, it's a very interesting war, and the, and the major player in this whole war and how they became a very powerful, my favorite, they're my favorite Indians, they're called the Iroquois uh, Six Nations, and uh, they uh, became the balance here in America between, you know, their strength was the balance that actually kept the Indians um, from having for having land because the uh, the French of course and the English were uh, have always been at war with each other so they used these, these Indians uh, along with the fur trade in their war of course and which came as time went on ended up being the French and Indian War which was the final war that actually ended the French here in this part of America. But uh, yeah, in America completely, it totally wiped them out, man. The French and Indian War, that was a very costly war for the French. But anyways, for, like I said, from like 1620 to about 17, 16, was how when the Iroquois became the most powerful Indian nation on the continent. And they were, I call them the Roman Empire of the Eastern Woodlands because that's how powerful they were uh, because of these beaver wars. And uh, it's interesting how they became enemies of the French until the end. Uh, it was in the uh, American Revolution when uh, when they were finally divided, the six nations were divided and they had a civil war when we had our revolutionary war because they were divided and uh, that was the end of their empire basically. Uh, and that's a sad story on, you should look that up too. Look, uh, look up the Indian history of, of the American Revolution. It's really sad. But anyways, yeah, they, they, I uh, can't remember the car once again, messed my frame of thought here. My thought, <laughs> uh, join me in part two of the Beaver Wars. I, I, I'm not going to cut this out, so I'll see you in part two of the Beaver Wars.